Tom Costain, Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, 1950 Buick Special. Sedan at. I've owned the car for about six and a half years. Actually, I ran across it on eBay. I was looking for a, a 50 Buick grill, and I found the car, decided I had to have it, bid on it, and wanted actually a friend of mine, I called him up, he lives in Georgia, and uh, told him, I said, let's double team on this thing because I want it. And uh, he's actually the one that wanted it in the auction. He got the last bid in on it just in time, and uh, worked out well, so. Well, it, it had a straight eight in there. It was locked up, and the, the uh, suspension was questionable. I uh, decided that didn't want to get work with the front suspension, so I put uh, Nova subframe in there, lowered it to set it to the height I wanted. And then I put a four-length rear suspension in the back with four-over shocks, so I can adjust the setting back there. And uh, it's I put a Cadillac 500 engine in it to replace that locked-up straight eight. Got a 400 Cadillac transmission. All new wiring, all new brakes, got discs up front. Put it, put you right through the windshield when you stop it, if you want to. Stops good. The interior was all ratted out. The uh, mice had ate that up pretty good, and the glass was, a lot of it was broke out, and it was, or broke, you roll the window down and try to split. The, uh, when the, the uh, cranks wouldn't even crank, actually, I'd take everything apart and rework all the regulators. And, so I ended up putting all new glass in it, and uh, so it's, it's pretty much a completely redone car. Oh, the gauges are all redone, they work. The radio is converted over to F FM, the original AM radio. So it's just basically everything done to it except for the, the exterior. I don't have any intentions to paint it. I like it like it is. Just put, keep putting that Gibbs lubricant on there, spray that on there once in a while. And, about every six months I need to put it on there. It's, it, it's, it's due, I meant to do it before I come up here, but it I rained, rained all the way through Florida on it. Well, I, I really like the body. I mean, first off, the grill catches your attention right off the bat, you know. That's, that's probably the most massive grill there is on any car, and I, I really like a grill. I, it's, that's the first thing that catches my eyes, the, the grill work, and then the bumper is just nice and massive. But the body lines in the car are neat, the, uh, you know, the real portholes, you know, the, and the flow of the body. You know, it's, it's got more than, just, more than just dropping down here and coming up here, it's got lines coming down there. The, the flow of the, the, the fastback is just, you know, just adds to it all. If it, it, actually, if it didn't have the fastback, I might not have been so, you know, enticed to, to jump on it. But it was just everything that I like about this car, you know. It, it was the complete package, basically. When I took the straight head out, it had a, just a single pipe going back out the back. I had to redo that, obviously, so I put dual exhaust on the Cadillac motor and I put thrush pipes in there and then went out through the frame in front of the wheel. I had them straight first and every time I'd go by the car, I'd kick the pipes so I ended up cutting them off at, a, at the same angle as the car, so I haven't had any of that issue anymore. Its hood lifts up from the side, is that from the factory? Yeah, okay. no, it does that. It, 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 it'll it flip both, either way, left or right, yeah. Okay. Both sides are hinged and it's got two latches on each side, uh, they're a latch and a hinge on each side.